Hey guys, it's Liana, and I'm here today to unhaul some books. <laughs> so like the last time that I did this, which went over surprisingly well, um, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be like a bookshelf tour, because I'm just gonna kind of go through my shelves with you and pick up books uh, as I go and be like, do I want this? Yes, no, maybe. I have a few books that I already have in mind to unhaul, um, so we'll get to those as we get to those. But yeah, I think you know what we're doing today? We are unhauling books together. So. Let us be about the business. This is largely what we're working with today is these shelves and what's on top of them. Depending on how I feel and if there's time, I want to tackle the ones that are up there and the ones that are up there. The impetus for this unhaul and the, the thing that makes this slightly more urgent than usual is that I am moving. <laughs> so like I, ideally I unhaul books before I move so I don't have to move them if I don't want them. So we're doing it today. And over here I have a stack of books that I already intend to unhaul. So like I just put them here so I can like remember to show them to you. So I can officially unhaul them for you. But everything else is kind of as I go how I feel about it. So it's quite a few shelves to get through. We best get cracking. I will probably have some books that you have seen before because I think they were in my last unhaul video. Like I mean on my shelves. I don't intend to get rid of any of these on top. These are all books that I definitely want to keep I think. So that's easy. Uh, on my top shelf here, we've got all my Holly Black books. I mean, these are all just the Cruel Friends trilogy in different editions. So I have the Alcrate edition. No, Barnes & Noble, regular Alcrate. I'll keep those. But I'm not... I don't know that I'm ever going to read this. I got it to be completionist because the cover was cool because they came out with, like, you know, a cool hardcover edition of this. But frankly, I'm never going to read this. So let's unhaul it. Uh, moving right along, we have an Enchantment of Ravens, which I really liked, unlike Close of Ray Thorns. Uh, my Lainey Taylor books in all the various editions. These are the international editions of Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and I have the new Illumicrate one. The UK editions of Strange of the Dreamer, the American edition of Strange of the Dreamer. Those is all staying. <laughs> this I got recently, so I'm keeping. Love Skullduggery. This is on my favorite books of the year, so that's staying. But I can move Daughter Smoke and Bone down now. That I've gotten rid of. Come on! There. Loverly. Okay, coming down here, I've got the Shatter Me books, which I may unhaul depending on how this goes. I mean, I did enjoy these, so that shouldn't ruin that, but I've heard largely negative things about Imagine Me, so I'm kind of scared to read it. <laughs> This year I plan to finish the scythe, Arc of the Scythe. I need to get the toll. <laughs> That's where this should go. So I'm definitely keeping that. Gentleman's Guide, quite enjoyed that. And there's another one coming out, so keeping that. I need to finish this. Oh, that's why we have a space, because uh, <laughs> I have the third truly devious book on deck to read soonish. Or it I got recently. I've heard negative things about the ending, but I still want to read it. Um, oh yeah, I'm also missing here the the third. Jacoby book. Uh, I really want to finish the Jacoby series. Uh, Madness of... Oh, it's just so underrated. I love this book. Highly recommend. Just plugging that real quick because it's so good. Need to finish reading The Raven Cycle. Ooh, The Devouring Grey, though. I've heard quite negative things. Originally, I was really hyped for this because it was compared to... Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> by Claire Legrand. It was compared to Raven Boys and Stranger Things. Two things I really like, but I've heard quite negative things about this. This is a signed copy, though. Ooh. I love these like foresty end pages. I don't know. I might still give it a shot. But it's. It's signed and personalized to me. <laughs> so I always feel shit about getting rid of books that are signed and personalized to me. Maybe I'll try it before I give up on it. Okay, we'll keep it. Then I've got some classics here that I don't see myself getting rid of. Some of them I have not read. Um, I've read The Secret History. Love it. Uh, I really want to read these two. Really want to read... I mean, I, I want to read any of the ones that I have, and that's why I got them. Which is most of them. So yeah, and I, re oh, I really want to read The True History of the Kelly Gang. I keep forgetting I own it. <laughs> Venom of the Opera, Love is my beat-up old copy. I read this edition of it. I read this copy like five times in high school. I don't know why people shit on The Venom of the Opera. I mean, the book. People like to say the book. The musical's good, but the book is bad. The book is great. Keep forgetting I own this. Want to read that? <gasps> this is so good. It's probably my favorite Peter Pan retelling, other than Alias Hook. Those are my two favorites. This I got recently. These are Donna Tart books. Obviously keeping those. Daphne du Maurier become a new favorite for me. Uh oh, did I like these? Oh, what's up here? 
Oh, the Prestige. I didn't really love the Prestige, and I'm never gonna reread it. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's not like really beautiful or anything either. It was kind of hard to. I got it used because it's hard to find. So I kind of don't want to get rid of it because like, what if I wanted again? It'll be hard to find again. But also, I'm never gonna read it again. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, where were we? Um, Johannes Cabal. I read the first one, The Necromancer. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I think Mara has said that the detective is better. Um, I guess I'll give it a shot. I, I mean, it was kind of Pratchett-esque. It was like, and a bit like Skullduggery Pleasant. I I guess, yeah. I, I might, oh, so hard to get back in there. Come on. Do your thing. Get in there. This is very hard to do one-handed. Uh, then I have some Sherlock Holmes books. I've read them both, I think. Studying Scarlet Hound of Baskerville. Yeah, I've read those both. This was sent to me by somebody. And I want to read The Miniaturist. I don't know if I want to read The Muse. I also don't like this yellow cover, <laughs> which is really shallow. But I just, I don't like that it's so yellow. <laughs> Maybe I'll read it. I guess I'll keep it. Whee! Mara gave me this because I think it's her favorite Agatha Christie, or one of her favorites, or at least the one that she thinks I would like. So keeping that, I have yet to read this, and it's such an icon that I really need to read this. Love Song of Achilles. Ooh, Oryx and Creek. Did I not consider getting rid of it last time? I feel like I was undecided. Am I ever going to read this, the Mad Adam trilogy? I read Oryx and Craig. I started the year of the flood and didn't finish it. Not like a DNF, I just didn't finish it. Um, which I know is what DNF stands for, but it wasn't like an active choice. Uh, and Mad Adam. Am I gonna read them? No. All right, let's get rid of them. Uh, next, there's Ella Enchanted, which is one of my all-time favorite books of all time ever. Read it like 16 times, maybe 17. Oh, these were all sent to me by the publisher and I need to freaking read them before they get pissed at me. <laughs> Uh, this is an arc of a Phoenix Extravagant. Is this an arc or just a finished copy? I'm not sure of made to order. And this, I also don't know if it's an arc or a finished copy. I need to freaking read them. <laughs> so I better keep those. Back you go. I should put them on a different shelf so I don't forget them. Ooh, and yes. Vikings, obviously keeping that. Moving right along. This was a gift, the 13th tale. Um, which I keep forgetting I have. <laughs> the Lost Queen I really want to read, uh, which I also keep forgetting that I have. The Trees, I mainly got for the cover. Do I need to explain why this cover is cool as fuck? But I keep forgetting that I have it or even what it's about. Like, it's been so long since I bought it, I don't remember what it's about. Something about Ireland, cool, yeah, keeping that. Oh, I got this randomly, like, at a, at the Romans book sale. Yeah, Romans. Why did I get it? I feel like it said whiskey somewhere and that's the whole reason that I got it. There we go, Irish whiskey. That's the whole reason I bought it. Oh, darkly humorous and whiskey. Yeah, those are the same reason. The reasons that I bought it are the reasons that I'm keeping it. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about this. I was really hyped for it. And I think I have the audiobook of it. I also don't remember what this is about. Oh, so many words. Whatever, I'm keeping it. Oh, uh, Kill a Farm Boy. I have tried to read this so many times because I keep thinking that I think it's funny it should be because I love stupid puns and in theory all the jokes are funny but none of them make me laugh um I think it's time to accept that I don't actually like it I just want to like it yep let's get rid of it we've got a whole bunch of non-fiction here one of my goals this year is to read more non-fiction I think yeah these are all non-fiction so gotta keep those in order to like live up to my goals um Cased which was like a favorite of the year for everybody uh, I think it was Oprah's book club pick too Caliphate which interests me personally this I already read and loved it. I think this was a gift uh, two Christmases ago. Um, so, yeah, did that. This also was a gift, uh, but I don't know if I want to read it. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to read this. It, it was a gift, so I feel bad, but I'm not going to read it. But on the other hand, I will read The Only Pirate at the Party because I really like Lindsay Sterling's music. And I'm hoping this doesn't ruin her music for me, like if I hate her after reading this. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of about like being quirky and like making your own way your way. So, and it's not too long, so I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, let's get rid of this. Uh, All the Birds in the Sky I really liked. I want to read this because I liked All the Birds in the Sky. This I want to read because it's a Peter Pan retelling, although those are hit and miss. Oh, I've heard really bad things about Artemis and I haven't even read the, what's it called? The Martian. This came in a book box. I wouldn't have bought it. I've heard pretty much everybody pan it. 
and I'm already iffy on sci-fi. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Uh, the fifth wave, everyone tells me I would really like, so I'll keep that. Laney Taylor, why? I don't know why this is down here. Well, we've got room up there now, so I got rid of that Holly Black book, so let's move it. There you go, home at last. This gorgeous edition came in an crate, keeping it just because it's pretty. Hope I like it, but it's pretty. <laughs> uh, this came in a book box too. And given how things went with uh, the left handed books I was of London, I'm not that hopeful that I will actually like it. Maybe I will. Um, and then I got this because I was in the middle of his dark materials. I ended up having a lot of problems with that trilogy. But overall, I like his writing style and I am interested to read more from him. So yeah, I'll keep that. Ugh. This was a gift as well. I've heard pretty positive things about it. I mean to read it. I just keep forgetting I have it. <laughs> Hazelwood I really liked. Oh, uh oh. I'm keeping this purely because of resale value because this is that fancy limited edition. So I, it's time to unhaul it. Time to properly unhaul it. I you list it like on eBay or something. I don't want this. I'm just keeping it because I know I can sell it. Time to do the thing. So that does it for this shelf. Down here I've got some Abercrombie books. Uh, I'm still looking for a hardcover of Last Argument of Kings. Got these two. But uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of this series. I also don't have... I have uh, different editions of it. Do I want this edition? I don't even know how I got this edition. Probably used somewhere. Feels used. Eh. Oh, it's stuck in there, so I guess we're keeping it. Sharp ends. Yeah, obviously keeping it. What's this? And why do I have it? Ugh. Down you come. The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock. Why did I get this? Why does this, that just does not seem like something I would read? Hmm, let's get rid of it. I'm not gonna read it. Let's be realistic. As Logan Nine Fingers would say, you have to be realistic. Um, this was so hard to find. I think I showed that to you last time I did this. Tremontaine, still need to read that. This series, I keep it because like when I got it, they're out of order. It seemed like a dark, dark fantasy <laughs> that's all wintry. AKA my gem. And it, it was a finalist for an award, but I think when I looked on Goodreads, it's got like an aggregate rating of like three stars. Ugh, I've kept it this long. May as well keep it. I think the hardcovers are out of print, so may as well keep it a little longer. Ton of French, still need to read more of those. These Shallow Graves, oh, I've had this for so long. I keep meaning to read it because the cover is so cool, but I keep forgetting that I haven't need to read Dark Matter. Red Piranesi was fine. Oh, I need to read more Danny Gilbert books. I really liked those. Two Princesses of Bomar, love that almost as much as L.A. Enchanted. Deathless Girls, Fellowship of the Ring, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, yep. Keeping all those. Which brings us to the bottom, which is um, more Abercrombie books. <laughs> I think, yeah, got them all on my quote-unquote Abercrombie shelf. So obviously keeping those. Um, oh yeah, God Blind, I've been meaning to read. Black Leopard, Red Wolf, been meaning to read. The White Tower, been meaning to read. Dawn of Wonder, highly, highly recommend. If you haven't read it, read it. It's amazing, it's illustrated. It's great. It's self-published, so support indie authors. Do it. It's great. City We Became. Always keeping that. What is all this nonsense? Um. Oh yeah, The Wolf and the Whale Mara highly recommends. So keeping that. Um. Yeah. Want that? Uh. Yeah. 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 Eh. 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 It's fine. I'm keeping. <laughs> Got my Sandman books down here. Oh. Please don't fall. Oh no, what have I done? Um, bunch of Neil Gaiman books. The illustrated uh, graphic novel version of The Parallel of the Sour. Tolkien, Sherlock Holmes. Some cool classics. Yeah, keeping all that. Okay, this shelf's gonna be tricky business because there's not a lot of space between my couch and here, so I'm doing it from the couch. I can't really reach up there. Hopefully I'm not unhauling anything, I guess. Oh, except I am because I now hate the bone season. So I need to get rid of all my bone season books. Alrighty then. This is out of print, so I should probably try to resell it. This is this. And this is signed. And I think this is out of print, so gotta try to sell these, I guess. Make some money. Illuminate books, love those. Down here, love, uh, yeah, these are all fine, fine, fine. This came in a book box. Probably not gonna read it. This came in a book box. Probably not gonna read it. This came in a book box, heard bad things, not gonna read it. <laughs> uh, and more, some more Bone Season books. Let's get rid of those. Uh, Dread oh, I forgot, I filmed my JVR today. Forgot that I'm reading this in, in February. 
I'll, I'll fix that. I'll film a clip. Uh, need to read that even though I love you hated it. I have been meaning to read this for a million years and I'm just, I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it. The time for it has come and gone. It's time to say goodbye. It was, it wasn't meant to be. I need to read The Night Country, but I probably need to reread The Hazelwood first. This I want to read because Emily Henry wrote it. I like to be treated. Sky in the Deep, Fable, Winner's Trilogy. Oh, I've heard super negative things about this. But this is also signed and personalized to me. Oh, jeepers, with love. But I, I'm not, I'm not gonna read this. But time to go. I got this because I had originally thought I would like Damsel. And it is a wolfy thing, I'll keep it. I liked To Kill a Kingdom and this is a cool edition that I had personalized. Oh, I keep been meaning to read this too. I don't think I'm ever gonna. The time has come and gone. This is Winterwood. Heard pretty negative things about it. This is a book box edition of it, hence the cover looking like the, oh no, oh no. Here's the author's note that came with it. Oh yeah, there's the two dust jackets. So there's the the normal one and the book box. One. And uh, it's a really cool looking book. I just, I've heard really negative things about it. And it's signed. We all try to sell it. Sawkill Girls, love it. Spinning Silver and a shocking turn of events, love it. This was a gift. Don't know exactly what it's about, but sure. I know people don't like this, but I loved it. And I don't know why this is down here, instead of up there. Well, let's fix that. Up you go. There we go. Then Dune, I gave my fancy edition to my dad because he loves Dune and I, I didn't love it that much, but I still have this copy and I, I think I want to reread it before the new adaptation with Timothy Chalamet comes out. So got that. Some hard covers, Robin Hobb, even though like I kind of hate these editions. Like the covers are, it's nice that it's hard cover, but it's ugly. <laughs> I might give these to my dad. So I think he read these editions, like saw that I had them and read them. Oh, uh, we've got some illustrated editions of Hob. That's lovely. I have been meaning to finish this series since before I started booktube. I don't think I'm going to ever. So I've heard really terrible things about, oh, I'm obviously keeping these fancy editions. I don't even think you can get them anymore. So keep those for show for show. But yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to read these. Um... The covers are cool though. Oh, I'll keep them just in case. Eep deep doop. <laughs> All of my Pradane books. Uh, gotta read this this year. Oh, I really like The Buried Giant. Highly recommend. And we've got a bunch of Neil Gaiman books. So yeah, that's all staying. Got an Ark of the Wolf. Got some Witcher books. Got an Ark of the Golden Wolf. Love that series. Angela's Ashes. That was my favorite, official favorite book for a long time. I'm never gonna read this. I've owned it for a million freaking years. Never gonna happen. Oh god, down here. We have more bone season books. So, oh no. Oh no. Well, I'll take them out later, but those are going. This comes highly recommended to me by Elil from uh, Elliot Brooks. So, that will be read at some point. My dad recommended that to me. What else do we have? Eh. Yeah, these are all fine. Love Alias Grace. Oh, the Grim Lovelies. Don't know about that. These are arcs though. Yeah, I'll keep these. <laughs> At least for now. Mainly because I can't be arsed to pull them out of here. That's kind of why they're here. I just shoved them here because I don't have anywhere else to put them. And my stack of for sure for sure getting rid of. Didn't like it. Eh. Hated it. Really super duper didn't like it, was super disappointed, was super disappointed. I've talked about all these in, in fairly recent wrap ups, so you should be no surprise here. <laughs> Last bookcase, shall we? Not my Grace Draven books, Tessa Dare books. Those, these are some more book box books that I'm probably never gonna read. It's a cool cover. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna read these, it's just the truth. All right, get rid of those. This I got, cause it's Viking-y. No one is shocked, that stays. <laughs> I got these because it sounded cool and the cover of the second one is the bomb diggity. So keeping those. I loved Five Feet Apart. So this isn't a sequel, but it's the same authors again, so I'm excited to read this. Got it quite recently. I got this. 
Because the cover looked cool, but I've heard kind of negative things about it since then. I'll keep it. I am never going to read this. I think I talked about it last time. It's personalized to me on my birthday. Ugh. Yep. It is. I feel like such a horrible person. Um. But I'm not gonna read it. That's just the truth. It's done haunting me. So I really like The Silence of Bones. Oh, I keep almost getting rid of this, but then I really liked Mindy McGinnis's other books. So I'm just, I'm gonna keep it again. Got this because it's a wolf. I love Deathless. Um, these are my UK editions of some of the Winter Night books. Keeping those. The Lie Tree. Really liked that. Another copy of Deathless. Oh, yeah, you can't get this edition anymore of Vicious. And my Goldsboro edition of Daisy Jones. You jelly. You jelly. Oh, yeah, I'm wanting to read Anthony Ryan for a while. I need to do that. Mountain of Kept Memory. Yeah. Some more Lady Taylor. Furthermore, I like to have a Moppy's writing, so I would like to try that. It's from middle grade. Wasn't loving the Wayward Children series, but I've heard good things about some of the other later installments, especially the second one, which I've yet to read. What is this and why do I have it? I don't know. I think someone gave this to me. Um, I don't want this. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. I keep hearing that I need to read this, so, so we'll get there. This sounded grim, dark, and cool. This is nonfiction about plague. <laughs> so we're gonna keep that. Keep that. This looks wintry and cool, so that's that's obviously why I have that. Lainey Taylor. Ah, oh, love the diabolic. Obviously keeping that. Um, do I need this edition? I ordered all the hardcover set of all four. Let's get rid of it. Got this because it's a wolf. <laughs> no one is surprised. This came in a book box. Never gonna read it. Um, I got this for my non-fiction collection. I'm gonna read it. I will. Uh, oh no, I bent it. Fix yourself. Oh no. Oh no, that's pretty bad. I need to fix it. I'm not getting rid of this. I need to put some heavy books on it. Like the ones I'm unhauling. Those are heavy. Nickel Boys. I need to read that. What, what is this? Why did I... Oh, I'm more Minnie McGinnis. I got this just because it, I don't I don't think I'm gonna read this. I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> Another this is a Catherine Valenti book. I got it because I love Deathless. I've heard really negative things from Mara about this, uh, but I'm willing to give it a go. We don't always agree. An arc of Blackwing. Uh oh, I hated this. Gotta get rid of that. This is the either sequel to or the first book in that other Mindy McGinnis book series that I just said I'm getting rid of. So let's get rid of this too. This I got because it sounded cool. Well, it still sounds pretty cool. Let's keep it. Oh no, stay up. I've heard excellent things about Sadie. This is a pretty interesting nonfiction. Schwab, who I'm falling rapidly out of love with, but these are special editions, so. Oh, wait and make sure I hate it, which I probably will before I get rid of it. I keep forgetting that I have the Thin Fancy free books. I need to read those. What is this? Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. I need to probably read that. The first Murderbot book. I don't, I mean, I don't love Murderbot. I like Murderbot. I do think it's quite overhyped, <laughs> but I'll keep it. I think someone gave me this. I don't think I'm gonna read it. Let's get rid of it. Doomed Queen. Oh, this is my friend's book. I keep forgetting to return it to her. I need to read it though. Mara sent me this. Oh, this is one of my favorite Lloyd Alexander books when I was a kid. I read this a few times. Hamlet. Don't need to explain that. Tropic of Cancer. Boomerang. Oh, am I gonna read this? Probably not. Let's get rid of it. Still need to read the Leather Life Like books. I've heard solid things about this. Let's keep that. Some nonfiction. What is this and why do I have it? It sounded weird. I think that's why I got it. But am I gonna read it realistically? No. Oh, guy, if I got rid of Rain the Earth, no reason to keep this, even though this is an arc that was annotated, I think. Yep. Oh boy. Alrighty then. <laughs> Love this flippity floppy paper bag. That stays. Um, monkey. That stays. <laughs> I love Wizard's First Rule. Fight me. This is the differently sized sequel to that wolf one. And 
Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King, which I quite liked. And down here, which I can barely reach. Ooh, a bunch of books that I definitely want to get rid of because they're all by canceled authors. Woo! So, the Steel Crow Saga in the shadows here. Definitely getting rid of that. And Mark Lawrence. So those can go. Don't think I'm ever going to read The Soul of the World. Some more Mark Lawrence. Heard shitty things about Unmarried Carol. Hated Sorcery of Thorns. Probably not going to read Amy Fuller's book, if I'm honest. And Ace of Shades, probably not going to read that. Um, yeah, so like majority of these are going to go. <laughs> that's going to go, that's going to go, that's going to go, that's going to go. That's going to go, that's going to go, that's going to go, that's going to go. That's going to go, that's going to go, that's going to go. And that's going to go. Oh, I feel good. That's a lot of books to get rid of. I don't think well, maybe you've been keeping count. It's a lot more than I realized. Are you ready to see? Are you ready to see all of the books that I'm getting rid of? So many books that I don't have to, I mean, I have to move them out of here to get rid of them. But it's nice to have space on my shelves for books that I want. I think there's more I want to get rid of from the sections that I'm too booped to get to. I always forget how exhausting this is. So yeah, let's, let's take a quick look at what we've got here. Pile number one and two. And three, and four, and five, and six. That's a lot of freaking books. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below um, if you've read any of the books that I'm unhauling. If you regret to see me unhaul them. If you wholeheartedly approve of my decision to unhaul them. If you want to see me unhaul books again in this style, you seemed to like it last time. But if you've changed your mind and you're like, you know what? Just kidding. I don't like the style of video. Let me know. <laughs> this is exhausting. So <laughs> I'm only going to do it if you really want me to do it. Yeah, let me know all the things. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe and we'll see you when I see you.